In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Good morning. Today we celebrate the 23rd Sunday of Ordinary Time. Let us begin our celebration of this Eucharist by asking the God of mercy and healing to forgive our sins and restore us to hope. You heal the sick and infirm, Lord have mercy. You heal the broken and bring back the lost, Christ have mercy. You lift up the poor and the oppressed, Lord have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us praise God. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> o God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved daughters and sons, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. We pray through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, say to those whose hearts are frightened, be strong, fear not. Here is your God, he comes with vindication, with divine recompense. He comes to save you. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened, the ears of the deaf be cleared. Then will the lame leap like a stag, then the tongue of the mute will sing. Streams will burst forth in the desert and rivers in the steppe. The burning sands will become pools, and the thirsty ground springs of water. The word of the Lord. from the letter of St. James. My brothers and sisters, show no partiality as you adhere to the faith in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ. For if a man with gold rings and fine clothes comes into your assembly and a poor person in shabby clothes also comes in, and you pay attention to the one wearing the fine clothes and say, sit here, please, while you say to the poor one, stand there, or 
sit at my feet. Have you not made distinctions among yourselves and become judges with evil designs? Listen, my beloved brothers and sisters. Did not God choose those who are poor in the world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom that he promised to those who love him? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A proclamation of the Holy Gospel, the good news, according to Mark. Again, Jesus left the district of Tyre and went by way of Sidon to the Sea of Galilee into the district of the Decapolis. And people brought to him a man who was deaf and had a speech impediment and begged Jesus to lay his hand on the man. Jesus took him off by himself away from the crowd. He put his finger into the man's ears and spitting, touched his tongue. Then he looked up to heaven and groaned and said to him, Ephatha, that is, be opened. And immediately the man's ears were opened. His speech impediment was removed and he spoke plainly. Jesus ordered them not to tell anyone, but the more he ordered them not to, the more they proclaimed it. They were exceedingly astonished, and they said, He has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. The Gospel of the Lord. In the Gospel today, we have another healing miracle of Jesus As we read any of the four Gospels, we see they are filled with many miracles, many signs of Jesus' power. And Jesus always did this not to be a show person, not to stand in the center and get all that attention, but always because of the person that was begging him for healing. Jesus moved his heart with compassion and pity for those who were not having a good life for those who are hurting, even for those who are dying. And so this particular man who cannot speak or hear uh, is brought to Jesus. And Jesus kind of goes through an elaborate rite, if you will, touching the man's tongue, touching his ears, speaking ephatha, translated in English, be opened. And of course, as we would expect, the man was cured. We listen to this gospel and all the gospels that proclaim Jesus' miracles, not just as a history lesson. Wasn't that wonderful? I wish I had been back there to see Jesus perform these miracles. It must have been amazing. But these gospels must speak to us today. When we have the rite of Christian initiation on the morning that many of those who are brought into the church, there is an ephatha rite, the same word that's in the gospel today, ephatha. And the the minister, the priest, the deacon puts his hands on the person about to be baptized that night at the Easter vigil and says, be opened. Now, more than likely, those who are being baptized are not deaf. But we follow that with be opened to hear the word of God and follow it. And so that's the real challenge to all of us today. Not how good is our hearing, unless you're talking about the hearing of the heart. How good is your heart hearing? What do you need to listen to Jesus saying to you? If Jesus were to take you off by himself as he took this man off by himself, led him away from the crowd as we heard, what would Jesus say to you? And would you be open to his message? Would you not only listen, would you act upon the challenge that Jesus might give you? I think so many times we know what Jesus might say to us, and yet we close our ears and close our hearts. Today I challenge you, open your hearts, listen to the Lord, and follow.
And let us make our profession of faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. And there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. With hearts and spirits open to God's healing presence, let us pray. For our church and parish community, that our work and worship together may bring healing and hope to our world. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For the ministers of our church and the leaders of nations, that they may proclaim the justice and peace of God without fear or compromise. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For the poor, the homeless, and all those in need, that they might find places of honor and welcome in our homes, parish, and community, we pray to the Lord. Lord. Hear our prayer. For families in crisis, that God may be present to them in their love for one another and the care and support of family and friends, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Open our eyes, ears, and hearts to your Holy Spirit, O God, that everything we do and every moment you give us may speak of your loving presence in our world and bring to joyful completion these prayers we offer you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. in the name. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, in all you have created. Rightly gives you praise for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. You never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you by that same Holy Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, Jesus took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood. The blood of the new and eternal covenant, which should be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me, the mystery of faith. Therefore, Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the offering of your church and reconcile, recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and George Leo, our Bishop, the order of bishops and all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you summon before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed sisters and brothers, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ, through whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, to you, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Now let us pray together in the words that our Lord has given us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Yes, Lord, deliver us from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, protect us from danger, doubts, and anxiety as we wait in joyful hope 
for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, and my peace I give you. Do not look in our sins, look in our faith, our goodness. Grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of Jesus Christ be with you always. Amen. Let us now share with each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are we who share in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For a moment after our communion, let us take a time of silence to give God thanks for all the blessings to ask for God's peace in our world. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass has ended a wonderful Sunday and a great week ahead. Let us go now in peace to love God and one another.